In the payment section of our FMI reports, you can read about the fascinating changes that occurred in the retail payments landscape, impacting, for example, the way we pay when we buy something on Amazon France or on Ball.com, and how you can now pay your doctor or apothecary with a credit transfer. Both of these are due to a piece of legislation known to us as the Second Payment Services Directive, or PSD2, transposed in Belgian law in 2018 and its successful implementation since then by the Belgian payment industry guided by the National Bank of Belgium. PSD2 had two goals. First, increasing payment security by requiring a strong authentication or identification of the payer, a rule known as SCA. Quite simply put, it's the rule that every payment transaction you do as a payer should be authenticated by you. It took almost two years after the entry into force and an NBB-approved industry-wide migration plan to make sure all merchants and all companies involved in card payments, from acquirers like Worldline to issuers like the bank that gives you your credit card, were able to make SCA and its exemptions in online payments work. And this new rule requests the consumer to sometimes provide more identification elements, your PIN code, your face ID, your touch ID, but it has ensured that fraud with payment cards has been significantly reduced increasing, secondly, competition and innovation in financial services by creating a right to access your payment account for certain new players in the market. This is called open banking. The road to ensuring that all Belgian banks offer the correct IT support and do not create obstacles was a lengthy one we have only recently achieved. And this was due to, among others, the complexity of bank IT systems, the clarifications obviously needed in the legal framework and the timing within which banks were both able and willing to make changes. Now you can read the story of how we tackled this and much more in our FMI reports since 2019 available at www.mbb.be forward slash FMI.